previously I shared with you two videos on how to incorporate this ginseng tincture into your daily life one was a chocolate strawberry smoothie recipe and the other was about how to take this ginseng tincture on the go so check out those videos so now that we're approaching the winter months I want to show you a warm tea recipe made with a medley of dry fruits and adding this ginseng tincture to the tea. I have a medley of dry fruits here that I'm going to use today to make this tea. I have some apricots, I have some peaches, and I have some pears. Now you can use whatever dry fruit you like. Maybe you like prunes, then use prunes. Or maybe you only want to use apricot. You could do that. So use whatever dry fruit you like. And so what I've done with these dry fruit is I've already sliced them in half because I really want to get the flavor of the fruits infused into the liquid. And in my large pot, I have about nine cups of water in here, which will make for about four servings. And so I'm just gonna add this dry fruit right into the water. And then place the lid and place it over the stove top and simmer cook it for at least 20 minutes or until all of the flavors are infused into the water. The medley of dry fruits have been simmer cooking in the water for almost 30 minutes. So all of the flavors of the dry fruit really infused into the water. So it's so easy to put this whole thing together. I'm going to be using red ginseng tincture that comes from Korea. I don't like to use ginseng that comes from North America. I really like ginseng that comes from Asia, whether it's from China, Korea, or Japan. And Koreans make high quality ginseng now. They have this thing called red ginseng, and that's what I like to use. And so they come in packets like something like this, or maybe depending on the brand, they'll come in a bottle like this. And so you could probably get this online or at an Asian supermarket. Look online or at an Asian supermarket and you can get this red ginseng tincture. And so I'm just going to put it together really, really easy. Take some of the uh, medley of fruit tea liquid and place it right in my mug. And this will serve about four people. I would say about four people it will serve. And we're going to add some honey to this recipe because the ginger, oh, I should say the ginseng has kind of a sour quality. You know, kind of have a medicinal taste. So I'm going to add some honey. And this is raw organic honey, actually. And then I'm just going to take maybe two to three tablespoons of the tincture and just add it right there. And just mix it up. You know the combination of the medley of fruits with the honey and the ginseng go well together because the sweetness of the honey and the fruit really balances out sort of the medicinal quality of the ginseng, but you could still taste the ginseng. So try this recipe during these winter months. This is how easy you can incorporate ginseng into your life. You saw how easy it was. And if you like this recipe, please make sure to share it with your friends and family for these winter months. And if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you want to visit all of my spiritual and holistic living tips, just go to my website at yinnyangliving.com. Namaste.